just as the sun rises, the sun will set. But is there a way to avoid the setting of the sun, of our planet, of our solar system, of our galaxy, or even the universe? Accelerating constantly towards the speed of light, can a spaceship surpass the history of our universe? Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. Today, Tau Zero by Paul Anderson, 1970. This is soap opera and space opera together. Let me talk a little bit first about the soap opera. 25 men, 25 women on a ship, no couples to start with. What do you think is going to happen? The name soap opera comes from radio dramas from the 1930s that were sponsored by soap companies. So the common, sometimes salacious storytelling was called a soap opera. And now we have space operas. This actually was a derogatory term referring back to soap operas, saying that this was just science fiction that was in space that had a hero and its adventures. Well, the space opera is more like hard SF in this book. The spaceship is building up speed. In an accident, it cannot stop its acceleration. It's accelerating to the speed of light. As most science fiction fans know, time dilation occurs. What happens if the time dilation becomes so great that all that you've known on Earth is gone. And in fact, perhaps you're moving beyond the life of Earth and the Sun itself, perhaps even the life of the entire galaxy. Are you going to be on this ship? As the universe contracts, the hard SF is a lot of fun in this book. Definitely its strong point. The relationships, they come, they go, there's betrayal. I think you know the game here when it comes to a soap opera style situation. And then there's the larger tragedy of leaving your history, your planet, your solar system, perhaps your galaxy behind. Is life worth living? Can they find a way to make life worth living? How long can they survive on this ship? Is there any solution to slow down this ship and bring it into a solar system of some sort? Tau Zero was a good read. I didn't enjoy the soap opera aspect as much, but the hard SF or space opera component was very strong. I would give the space opera component an 8 out of 10 and the soap opera component a 6 out of 10. So let's average those out. We'll call it 7 out of 10 for Tau Zero. This is the first Paul Anderson book that I've read. Are there any books of Paul Anderson that you would recommend? Do you agree with my assessment of this book? Let me know in the comments below. I always enjoy our discussions. Until next time, keep reading.